Defense bill could be last chance for immigration laws this year. Last week, the House passed what may be the last opportunity for Congress to enact any immigration reform this year. The wide-ranging defense authorization bill includes articles such as provisions to assist Afghan refugees and documented dreamers. Despite many bills being introduced and negotiated in both chambers of Congress, lawmakers have so far failed to come together on any immigration provisions, and many fear that time is running out before the midterm elections. There are three bills presently up for discussion, the National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, the Farm Workforce Modernization Act, FWMA, and the U.S. Innovation and Competition Act, USICA, with the NDAA being the most likely to pass, but let's discuss each of these more in depth. National Defense Authorization Act. The NDAA has three immigration-related amendments. The first is a bipartisan provision to protect documented dreamers, the dependent children of green card applicants, and those who face deportation when they age out of the eligibility for the dependent visa status. Afghan refugees will also see some relief if the House version of the NDAA becomes law. Two amendments were offered to assist Afghan citizens who assisted U.S. efforts in Afghanistan and whose lives are now in danger. The First Amendment would direct the Department of State to increase processing capacity for Afghan Special Immigrant Visa (CIV) applications and refugee referrals. The Second Amendment would make it easier for Afghan students to receive visas without proving an intent to return to Afghanistan. Student visas are non-immigrant visas, and typically an applicant must prove they don't intend to stay in the U.S. permanently. The House approved the NDAA with a rough 3-to-1 majority. Farm Workforce Modernization Act (FWMA). This bill has been passed twice by the House, and it aims to modernize the H-2A Temporary Agriculture Visa Program. It's believed that the current food production workforce recruitment system is what led to higher food prices, particularly for dairy, meat, and vegetables. FWMA would allow farmers to hire more temporary H-2A workers year-round rather than for short-term seasonal work. As it stands now, farms cannot source workers from the H-2A program, which has intensified food shortages in the aforementioned industries. Additionally, the bill would provide a pathway to legalization for some farm workers. Currently, one does not exist for H-2A holders. Despite the bipartisan bill passing twice in the House, FWMA is in peril in the Senate as legislators argue whether or not federal law would allow H-2A workers to sue their employers if U.S. labor laws were broken. Although some agreements have been nailed down, the overall fate of the bill remains uncertain. U.S. Innovation and Competitiveness Act USICA. Formerly and informally referred to as the China Competition Bill, this piece of legislation is aimed at countering China's economic reach. The House version of the bill included some immigration policies, but key Republican senators refused their inclusion. The bill has largely been slashed by the Senate, where it was whittled down merely to CHIPS funding, creating helpful incentives to produce semiconductors. The Senate first passed its version of the USICA in June 2021, but the House has not taken any action on the bill until this year. As of now, the Senate has passed a procedural move to prepare for potential votes on USICA by the end of July. Immigration in the coming Congress With midterm elections coming up in November, many are predicting that control of the House could switch from Democratic to Republican. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy has stated that he will not bring immigration-related bills to the floor should he become Speaker of the House. McCarthy also indicated that he plans to impeach Alejandro Mayorkas, head of the Department of Homeland Security, for his supposed dereliction of duty. Other proposed plans by the hopeful majority include legislation to restart Remain in Mexico, further increasing security at the heavily militarized border, ramping up arrests and detentions of all immigrants living in the U.S., regardless of whether they are a threat to national security or public safety, and further restricting the already hobbled asylum system. These threats from Republican Party leaders have created a sense of urgency on Capitol Hill, as Democrats rush to pass what they can before time runs out in November. If you found this video informative, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Boundless for the latest in immigration news. Thanks for watching.